Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. Chilling out in my shop. Well, not chilling out because it's hotter than hell in here. So, uh, yeah, and I got a headache today, so I'm just kind of. I say I take, I'm taking it easy, but I'm actually not. I'm actually <laughs> working on like four different knives right now, so no big deal. But anyway, uh, I got cleaned out by some bills and some very, very large material orders, so I'm selling some stuff. Uh, and some stuff I was just going to sell in the first place, uh, as I made up just for some people to, to buy. I'm going to be having a lot of a couple of them. So uh, first I will show you a custom I got yesterday. I actually traded my Microtech uh, out the front, uh, which I'm happy about because I had no use for that thing. I uh, traded it on USN for this little Lucas Burnley squid, which is awesome, by the way. We got OD Green G10, nice and smooth. Black backspacer, bronze stone wash, a little fuzzy. Bronze anodized stone wash, nice little 154 cm blade. So the Burnley right there, beautiful knife. Really sharp, thick little guy. It's got a little shallow swedge there. Awesome lock. The thing's a tank. It's already carbonized from the maker. Very comfortable. And it's just awesome. It's an awesome little knife. Very happy with it. Unfortunately, I traded it yesterday, and I got it yesterday and traded it right away. So you'll be seeing what I got trip for trade for this to a YouTube friend of mine. So just want to share this guy with you. It's pretty damn awesome. The fit and finish is impeccable. Uh, Lucas Burnley is a very talented guy and definitely a great knife maker. Came with a little Burnley knives patch there. So this guy will be going to the UK. So, uh, first up, so you guys saw this guy. This one is, you know, this one's for somebody. Uh, you know, different scales are going on. So these two scales and the clip will be left, and the backspacer will be left with no, uh, no knife. So you got one piece of this stuff, enough for one more left. So if somebody wants it, they're they're, uh, they're gonna be around 325, because um, it's a, it's really really a pain to grind this stuff. It's uh, some crazy stuff. So I got one. I'm not gonna be doing them. A lot of these really, maybe one down the road or something like that. But this thing is basically my favorite friction folder or anything I've made so far. And I'm gonna make another one. So this is uh, you know. If you want these scales or another one, I'm just desperate enough to do whatever. Just no carbon fiber. I currently have no carbon fiber, and my carbon fiber guy has a fever, so you know I'm letting him get better. I don't want to rush him or anything like that. You know, last thing I need is, is him to you know be sick longer, so I don't want him to worry. So uh, anything that's carbon fiber here is getting a back seat right now, which kind of sucks, but you know we got plenty of G10 orders to do, so. So yeah, if you guys want this, it's gonna be the same thing. Uh, you could even, you can even call me if you want to get it today, and you can PayPal me uh, the 325 for it. Give me a call today. We'll go over some instructions. We change some things about the blade shape, maybe if you want to. Uh, so yeah, just let me know, guys. So that guy's 325. Uh, it'll look like this, uh, or you could change the uh, scales or whatever. So, but uh, this side actually is going on the on the new one, or as well. So. Yeah, so if you want just both the same color on here, yeah, so it looks a little bit more consistent. So, there's that guy, 325. This guy I don't really want to sell, but I will sell it. Well, I, I, well, I do want to sell it, but, you know, it's just, uh, I love it, and it's just gorgeous, and it's not something I'll be doing again. Um, I can't go any lower than, like, 450 for this one. It's a massive D2 blade. Just one of my favorite knives. It's got the pressed uh, pin in there. OD green scales, tox green liners, nice and polished all around, nice and contoured. You know, it's a great outdoors knife. Got a little swedge there. It's very, very, very sharp. Wish I had a piece of paper nearby. Let me see if I can find one. Always difficult to do. And of course you guys know me with cutting on camera. I can't do it. God damn it. These are a little damp. Now oh, you see.
thing's a beast and it comes with this nice sheath here with the larger loops here for a nylon strap. Uh, I just wrapped the paracord around it. Uh, but I'm gonna polish up the blade a little bit, get any scratches out, because I did use it a little bit just to uh, test out. But uh, you know, nice retention on the sheath and everything. So you guys, a 450, I mean, that's a steal because I don't even really want to get rid of this. It's a one of a kind. Uh, first knife to get my logo on it. And that's just awesome. So I know I uh, probably won't be selling this. I don't think anybody's got 450 laying around, but I figured I'd give it a shot. So next up, 275. This is a collaboration between me and Anonymous. Uh, it's a D2 little hunter blade. Also will be touched up. It's just got some scratches on it from some use. Nice little thick quarter inch D2 blade. Uh, it's got the first starburst pattern, oh, star tooth pattern, I guess. Very, 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 very comfortable. I love this thing, it's really awesome. So this one's 275, guys. Very nice sheath. I'm not sure if uh, Anonymous will let me give up the, the Molly clip with it, or the, uh, the tack lock with it. But um, yeah, it's nice, very nice, rides very nicely. It's a chunky little fucker. It's got a little uh, glass breaker there in the end, lanyard hole. Just a very, very nice knife. Nice full flat, almost. But it's just a nice little drop point. Kind of like a Becker style, but you know, a little bit cooler, a little bit smaller. We got next in here so I can show you. And the rat one. And the same size as the rat one. So it's not too big. It's a three and a half to four inch, that's a four inch blade. Maybe a little bit more, give or take. Oops, wrong spot. Good retention on that guy too. Uh, next up, these are gonna be, this one's 175. It's a little titanium neck knife. Um, this one has the, just like a rock pattern kind of cut into it. Polished and anodized the tips of it, sandblasted inside the grooves. Got the logo down there with the carbonizing all around it. Got like a goldish tint to it, purplish, kind of gets darker towards the back. And uh, really sharp, little Warncliffe. And this side's kind of got this crazy, like, sparkly finish on it with the anodizing blue. And the blade is half blue and gold down by the edge. Very sharp. Nice sharp little guy. Well, this one's real cool, but this will have a sheath with it. 175. It's awesome. Now, if you want both of them, that'll be a discount. The next one, this one's, I'm very happy with this one, guys. This is, this one's really cool because the grind on it is just perfect for me. I mean, it's not 100,000% perfect, but uh, getting that nice straight line up top there is not the easiest thing to do. And I think that's one of the best ones I've done so far. So it's a nice chisel, sharp right here. It's semi-sharp, sort of convex right there on the chisel portion. Just very slight convex at the end there. Um, but you got a nice, you got a nice little uh, groove right there for whatever. Uh, this side's got the logo. This side's like shiny and anodized. Looking crazy. Carbidized at the bottom there, extra carbide up the top. And the carbide doesn't come off easily, guys. I mean, some people say they wear off. It doesn't wear off. It, it's on there for, for a very, very, very long time. You know, it's not coming off. I mean, it's just going to get stronger and stronger. So this guy, and uh, you can talk to, uh, what was his name? XXX666PAV. Uh, he got one of the Tonto ones I made, and he's just in love with it. I mean, I did a D2 blade and all these other things for him. That seems to be his favorite, so. And I, I think this thing is just awesome, so. I mean, they weigh nothing. They feel really good in your hand. So this will come with a sheath as well. This one will be, you know, 175, or actually 150. If you get both of them, they'll be 250 altogether. This guy is, yeah, 125. Just a little Tonto with a convex tip there. Kind of like a shorter version of the other one. And with these, if you guys want a different finish on it, I can just quickly just do that. I can polish it back up to like real shiny and uh, redo it, uh, the anodizing on it. Uh, this one's got a little scratch there, just needs to be touched up. So it's got, you know, you guys have seen this one before. So the first one I did, it's very comfortable. Uh, it's got the jimping on it. 
and it's just awesome. So this one's 125. Um, I got two more. If you don't mind waiting a little bit, uh, and you want one of these, you know, let me know. Same price. These probably be like 175-ish, depending on what you want done to it. Uh, they don't have to be what the shapes are. They're pretty much blank slates. I have a ton of these. And I'm going to be doing a lot of them. Uh, they belong to Anonymous, and part of it will, you know, part of the money will go to Anonymous, but part of it will go to me as well. So, yeah, guys, that's what I got. And, um, you know, everything's cool here. You know, I just need to uh, replenish the funds because of some ridiculous uh, prices on some stuff, uh, some materials and everything. So, and, uh, I just need to bounce back real quick. So yeah, guys, uh, you know, these are just freaking awesome. Like seriously, I mean, you may think, oh, that's just kind of weird. No, it's, I mean, like, it's just so comfortable. I mean, it's hard to explain, it's just tiny. You know, it's got a skinny handle, but it, it just, it feels great. I mean, it really does feel great. And the choil just feels awesome. Locks into your hand perfectly. Put some paracord around there, feels awesome. This one just feels really good against your hand because of the, uh, the patterning on it. But, you know, they're just like nice and, you know, it's contoured around the uh, choil area there. Just awesome. So guys, this guy, uh, I forget what I said, 325. Uh, there will only be one more, because this is all I got, and I don't think I'll be able to get any more. This stuff is just ridiculous. Titanium, it's awesome. Um, handles and, sh you know, these handles, perfectly good. Uh, you can change the blade shape slightly if you want to, as long as within reason. Uh, this guy, 450, just the awesome D2, I don't even know what the hell to call it, just awesome blade. Um, a little compilation with me and uh, Anonymous, 275, D2 steel. This one I can put my logo on it, and I uh, also got D2 stamps for it. Um, Yep, and uh, I think I might have forgot something. But whatever, well just uh, you know, give me a call today or text me today, that's why I'm uploading this video early, so you guys can get a uh, you know, get in there before it gets too late at night. So, I'm gonna upload this right now, and uh, please give me a call, and keep sending your orders. Guys, I'm kind of uh, slacking on the emails, but I'm trying to do it as, uh, you know, when I, you know, I'll basically when I uh, answer your email, you know, just uh, shoot the stuff on over. If I'm, if you really need to get a hold of me, just give me a call or text me. Uh, just sometimes I don't get to get to some of them right away. So, and uh, I've been very busy lately. Just, sh I, I mean, I'm shipping more stuff than I've ever shipped in my entire life. So, that has to go away soon. So, I mean, I have less stuff here than usual. So the the turnaround time is going to be lower. Um, and uh, right now I, I need cash, so I do stupid shit and take stupid requests when I'm desperate for money, so uh, take advantage of that. Alright guys, have a great day. Peace.